Hello guys, welcome to the video of factoring a trinomial into two binomials. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a second here. So here's a problem. Let me use my little pointer tool here. So here's a problem x squared plus x minus 12 and I'm going to show you how to factor this. Now this is an easy factor because you only have a um, degree of 2 and then these two numbers will have something in common that I'm going to show you in a second. So what you first need to do is you have to find all the factors. And what I mean by that is um, you have to find all the factors that multiply to this negative 12. So it's the last term in the trinomial. And then you have to find after that all of the factors that will also add to be the middle term. And what I mean by that is um, you have to find all the factors that multiply to be negative 12, which are 1 and negative 12, negative 1 and 12, and you have to go back and forth and do both. You have to do the negative on each of the factors. And 2 and negative 6, and then negative 2 and 6, 3 and negative 4, and negative 3 and 4. So those are all the factors of negative 12 that multiply to that. Now you have to go through each of them and find which ones will also add to be the middle term. And the way that I remember which order it is, is like AM and PM, like morning and night. So AM um, is the order that it goes in. So A comes first for the middle term, and then M is the last term. So we're going to go through each of these and cross out the ones that are not, um, that don't add up to the middle term. So you're probably wondering, well, what is the middle term? Because this um, x does not have a coefficient, which is the number that goes in front of this variable, you can put an imaginary 1. And the reason why you do that is because how many x's are there? Well, there is only one there. So we can put just imaginary 1 there, and that's the coefficient that we have to find the factors to add up to. So we're going to go through each of these and find which two will add up to be positive 1. So 1 plus negative 12 is negative 11, so that's not the correct one. And then negative 1 plus 12 is a positive 11, so that doesn't work either. 2 plus negative 6 is the same as 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. And then negative 2 plus 6 is a positive 4, so those two don't work. And then 3 plus a negative 4 is the same as 3 minus 4, and that's negative 1. So we're getting closer with the 1, but it's not the correct sign. And then the last one is negative 3 plus 4. And negative 3 plus 4 is a positive 1. So that is the two, that is the group that we are going to use. So the second step is take the square root of the first term. So your first term is this one right here because we read left to right in English, and we also read left to right in math. So this is the term you're going to want to find the square root of. So you just find the square root of x squared, which is just x. The third step is to then place that x on the left-hand side of each of the parentheses. So that's going to look like that. And then the fourth step is to place the two factors on the right of each of them. So we're going to take those two factors that we found before, which was negative 3 and 4, and we're going to place them right here, negative 3 and positive 4. So the sign of whatever it is goes in front as the adding or the subtracting. So in algebra, um, the negative symbol is also subtracting, and a positive number is also an adding of that number. So we're just going to put negative 3 here and positive 4 here. doesn't matter which order you put them in. You can put plus 4 here and negative 3 here. I just like to put them in order of the way that I found it and it just makes it simpler to me. So I'm going to place that right there, and that's your answer. So you have x minus 3 times x plus 4, and then you're probably wondering, well, how do I check my work to make sure I have the correct answer? So how you do that is you're going to want to, let me see if I pull down the right one, you're going to want to use the um, distribution method or FOIL, if you remember um, learning FOIL, and that's first, outer, inner, last, and I'm going to show you what that means. So you're going to multiply the first two numbers, which is x and x, and that becomes x squared. And then you're going to multiply the two outer ones, which is x and 4. So x times 4, the coefficient goes first, the number goes first, so that's 4x. 
and that's um, a positive 4x. And then you're going to multiply the two inners, which is negative 3 times x. And negative 3 times x gives you a negative 3x. And then you multiply the two last ones, which are negative 3 and positive 4. Negative 3 times positive 4 is a negative 12. And that gives you a four-term uh, polynomial. And then you just have to combine the two middle terms because the two middle terms will always be in common as long as you do it in that order. So plus 4x minus 3x, so that's just like 4 minus 3, which gives us our 1x that we have in the middle here. So then we just combine like terms and you get x squared plus x minus 12. And that's all you do. Hope that helped you understand how to factor a trinomial into two binomials.